Hello and welcome to Easy Biochemistry. Our topic for today is amino acids. It is very interesting and easy to understand. Be ready with pen and paper as we are going to work out simultaneously. Here the broad objectives are we are going to define the amino acids and see the general structure of the amino acids, properties, going to discuss basic properties of amino acids. We are going to see how the amino acids are des designated and classification and structure depending on the time that permits. Let's see the definition of amino acids. Amino acids are monomeric units of proteins. These are these are the building blocks of proteins. That means the proteins are made of small units called amino acids. Amino acids, as we see the term amino acids, amino acids contain both the amino group as well as acid group. See the general structure here. This is the general structure of the amino acid CHNH2, COOH and R. In this general structure, you can see amino group as well as carboxyl group. That is why they are called as amino acids. There are 20 standard amino acids. Though there are thousands of amino acids available, only 20 are called as standard amino acids. Why they are called as standard amino acids means they participate in the protein synthesis. That is why they are called as standard amino acids. Some say that selenocysteine is also one of the standard amino acids. And all the amino acids are alpha amino acids. What is meant by alpha amino acid? Let's see the general structure again. This is the general structure of amino acids where we have this central carbon to which both the groups are attached carboxyl group, amino group, hydrogen as well as side chain and this carbon atom is called as alpha carbon atom as it is just adjacent to the functional group. That is why it is called as alpha carbon atom to the alpha carbon atom all different groups are attached that is why it is called as the amino acids are called as alpha amino acids and all the amino acids are optically active except glycine what is meant by optical activity the mo which molecules exhibit optical activity the molecules which contain chiral carbon they exhibit optical activity the molecule let's see the general structure once again this is the carbon to which the groups are attached a chiral carbon or asymmetric carbon is the one to which four different groups are attached let's see if it is uh, if the amino acids or chiral are not taking the example of alanine if we put ch3 here if we put CH3 in this particular position if R is nothing but CH3 let's see the central carbon to this carbon amino group first group second group third group and fourth group is attached all these four are different groups that is why this carbon atom is called as chiral carbon and the molecule when it contains chiral becomes optically active giving rise to optical isomerism either levorotatory molecules and dextrorotatory isomers all the amino acids are optically active except glycine why glycine is not optically active means in case of glycine the side chain is nothing but hydrogen if it is hydrogen the above is hydrogen and this one is also hydrogen two similar groups are there that is why glycine is not optically active all the amino acids are optically active except glycine here this slide shows enantiomers or optical uh, sorry mirror images Amino acids are D-amino acid and L-amino acids. 
this d and l they designate the arrangement of groups around the carbon not optical activity l amino acid may not be levorotatory this refers to only configuration the configuration here is taken from the d glyceraldehyde and l glyceraldehyde as reference molecule where the depending on the oh group now here as the oh group is not there instead of that here amino group is taken if the amino group is towards the right hand side it is called as dex d amino acid and if the amino group is towards the left hand side of this carbon it is called as the l amino acid these d and l forms are called mirror images or enantiomers remember naturally occurring amino acids all l amino acids these l amino acids are more common in nature they are predominantly amino acids are present in l form and these are involved in the protein synthesis d amino acids are also found in some bacteria and in our body also during post translational modifications d amino acids are also found but they are rarely found another property of amino acids is amino acids are zwitter ionic or dipolar what is meant by this term see this structure of the amino acid this amino acid previously we have written nh2 cooh but in the aqueous solutions the amino the same amino acid is polarized it forms ions nh2 became nh3 plus cooh became coo minus see here usually we'll see amines ammonium ion contains only positive charge and a propanoic acid contains only negative charge but when we see this amine acid this is a single molecule but it contains both positive charge as well as negative charge in a single molecule if a molecule contains both positive and negative charges in it it is called as zwitter ionic or dipolar in nature another property important property is the amino acids are amphoteric in nature amphoteric molecules are those which can act as both acid as well as base and amino acids are designated as amphoteric in nature why they are called as amphoteric means they are behaving the single molecule can behave like both acid as well as base see if the first reaction nh3 is there chr coo minus this amino acid is accepting h plus ion thereby it became the structure like this this amino acid is acting accepting hydrogen that is why it is called as a base this amino acid is called as a base so it acts as base by accepting hydrogen ions see the below reaction in this reaction it is donating this amino acid is donating its h plus ions one of the proton here thereby this nh3 plus has became nh2 and h plus ion is donated here this molecule is behaving like an acid by donating h plus ions a molecule which donates h plus ions is called as acid and in this slide let us see the names of 20 amino acids let's learn all the names of the amino acid keep your pen and paper ready these are the 20 standard amino acids which are included and we have designated with different colors so as to follow the classification you will know the meaning and it is very easy to remember all the 20 amino acids the 20 amino acids let's name one after another it is glycine alanine valine leucine isoleucine methionine proline phenylalanine tryptophan serine threonine cysteine tyrosine asparagine glutamine aspartic acid glutamic acid lysine arginine and histidine 
these are the 20 standard amino acids whose names are designated in two different manners one is the three letter symbol and one letter abbreviation is given for each amino acid each amino acid is given the code single letter code usually with the first letter if the first letter is already allotted for one of the amino acid the most pronounced word is given for example here phenylalanine it is given f instead of p because p is already allotted to proline likewise all the 20 amino acids are designated with single letter code and three letter symbol you have to learn both the single letter code and three letter symbol for each of the 20 amino acids and it is very interesting for glycine it is gly symbol is g alanine it is ala and a valine val valine symbol is v leu leucine symbol is l ile isoleucine symbol is i met methionine symbol is m pro proline p phe phenylalanine f trp tryptophan w serin ser s thr for threonine designated as t cys cysteine designated as c tyr tyrosine y asparagin asn symbol is n glutamine gln it is q aspartic acid asp d glutamic acid glu symbol is e lysine lys k symbol is k arginine arg r and for histidine his symbol is h among all these amino acids we can learn them remember them very easily because we followed the classification these set of amino acids are non-polar amino acids nine in number these amino acids are which are uh, in the orange color they are polar amino acids and the blue colored ones they are acidic amino acids and basic amino acids as we have followed the classification you can remember all the 20 amino acids very easily remember here glutamine the name is gln for glutamic acid it is glu just gln for n is there for glutamine u is there for glutamic acid do not be confused between between glutamic acid and glutamine let us see the classification i already explained you the amino acids depending on the side chain they are divided into non-polar polar positively charged and negatively charged amino acids this classification there are many classifications available for amino acids this classification is based on the type of side chain or r group in the non-polar here we are mentioning the three letter symbols glycine alanine valine leucine isoleucine proline methionine phenylalanine tryptophan they belong to the non-polar amino acids polar amino acids are cysteine serine threonine tyrosine asparagine and glutamine positively charged are only three in number lysine arginine histidine and negatively charged are only two in number aspartic acid and glutamic acid these five are positively and negatively charged these are uh, neutral amino acids and this is the classification of amino acids so far we have seen the definition the general structure some of the properties of amino acids designation of the amino acid and classification of the amino acids in the next class we will see the structures of the amino acids how you can remember the structures very easily will be told in the next class thank you